Kalki, I'd like you to say a few words about this, if it's okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I'm always very, very happy uh, to come and do my commitments for Cotton World because uh, they never ask anything unreasonable of me and I pretty much agree with, with uh, their point of view and their philosophy. So it's uh, really great, I think, that they've started with Happy Teas. It's just a first step into uh, a future of sustainability. I think uh, they have started with this uh, men's line, but they will eventually get to a point where they want all their products to be sustainable. Uh, we shot uh, over there, and it was a really intense day, I think. No, we, 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 we had to leave from Nagpur and drive four hours to get there um, very, very early in the morning to get the, 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 the right light and everything. But uh, the farmers were amazing, very shy extremely shy to be sh shooting so we had to like get them to talk to us a little bit and uh you know just like be a bit relaxed uncle i was giving him a massage because he just was like like he didn't know what to do on, uh, in front of the camera so um it was they, they had a great time i think and i think what uh, chetna vikas as an ngo is doing is is fabulous uh, helping uh, farmers also understand the long-term uh, future of farming. So, uh, you know, I think we 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 have this uh, burden here of often buying cheap pesticides, which are rejects from the West. You know, uh, pesticides which are actually been banned already in the West are being sold cheaply in 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 developing countries. So. Uh, to stop that and to stop GMO uh, cotton, which uh, in in the long term is not sustainable and takes up a lot of water, um, it's really important that people understand organic fam farming uh, as as a future way of uh, working in our country, especially cotton farming, because we have a country with one of the most uh, high cotton farming uh, products production in the world. So yeah. All this is uh, wonderful. It's small steps, but I think that everything in life that's worth it happens through small steps. So, really glad to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kalki. Um, um, if you guys have any questions uh, for uh, Naveen and Kalki, uh, now would be the time. You know, what was the first reaction the moment, the moment Cotton World approached you for this initiative? It's, a, it's you know, it's a, it's a fantastic initiative, especially for the farmers. What is the first reaction you can you be shooting this campaign for them? I mean, I was thrilled. I said yes. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a, as I said, I think the philosophy of Cotton World goes very well with my philosophies, uh, and. Uh, you know, obviously, I wanted to know more about the NGO and how they're working with these farmers. Uh, but yes, I completely agree with the project and really happy to be part of it. Okay, Kalki was always there in your mind. You want Kalki to be a part of it, and yeah, we basically I think uh, Kalki is the perfect fit because she kind of uh, is very vocal about what she believes in, and we've been a brand like that for 30 years. We've been very, you know sure that we only want to do natural fabrics and nothing else. So it's always been, I mean, it was a perfect fit for us. Also, now we know each other because we've been working together for more than a year. Yeah, so, you know, we have regular interactions. No, very honestly, myself, I didn't kill anybody, so I didn't have time to go and visit the villages and things. Uh, but of course, we all know about the difficulty that farmers are facing at the moment, uh, the the kind of heavy loans that they are having to deal with, and uh, and I think that it's really important for for NGOs to to educate uh, people on the sustainable angle because that's what's going to change things in the long run. Uh, we might find quick solutions in the meantime, but the important thing is that in the long term, uh, we don't destroy our farmers' lives and their lands. Okay, there are so many things happening in India. You know, when we talk about farmer, there's suicide, there's suicide number of number of suicide is happening. You know, though you you, you are associating yourself with cotton wool, this is I'm, I'm repeating myself. It's fantastic. You know? But do you, what message do you do you want to give to the farmer who you know who are in 
in depth of loan or there are so many problems they are facing. What would be your message to the farmers? I don't think I'm in any position to give a message. I think it's an extremely tough life. Uh, and a lot of farmers are put into a, a corner in which they have very little choice. Uh, only recently I read about a family that burned themselves in the collector's office or something. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I just hope that all of us can take... I think it's about each one of us. We shouldn't be telling farmers what to do. We should be doing something. Each of us has a responsibility in the things that we buy, in the things that we choose to consume. Uh, none of us are, are pure, perfect human beings. I have a lot of products which are harmful for the environment, which are harmful. But I'm slowly trying to understand where I can change my lifestyle, where it's not going to you know, drastically affect me, uh, where I can afford to buy something which is a little, might be a little more expensive, but is, is helping somebody, yeah. There's nothing like that, but as I said, we've tied up with Chetna Vikas, and they are basically, they have probably over 120 villages under their, uh, you know, who they're helping, and probably about 20,000 total people. So they actually teach them how to organically farm, how to actually grow food on that same farm, because they're not using pesticides, so they can actually eat, they don't have to spend money on food, and it just helps the soil. So in the long run, I mean, they're not giving it individually to them, they're giving it to the NGO. And they've been around for about 30 years and we actually visited them, saw everything that they do and they're doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Thank you. How is it difficult to be there in an early morning shoot or early morning event? <laughs> I'm not the best early morning person for sure. Especially when early morning means like 4 or 5 in the morning. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, the beautiful light that you get at 6 a.m. is irreplaceable. So, yeah, the photographers are always very happy. Okay, after the year, what's next? What's happening in professional class? Ribbon, right now. Please go watch it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, so first, ma'am, tell me, uh, have you ever tried farming in your life or in childhood or now? Um, farming in my life. I wouldn't say like proper farming, but yes, planting. My mother is a big gardener, so I've done some gardening with her. Okay, how does it feel to be a part of such a great uh, NGO and uh, taking a uh, initiative? It's great. I think it's a really good first step. Happy Tees. Uh, you know, I'm wearing one of their t-shirts. It's only a men's line right now. Uh, but all the proceeds from buying these t-shirts go to the NGO Chetna Vikas, which is helping farmers in Vadhra. So, uh, in Va Vardha. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's a really, really great first step. Okay, uh, how was the experience with the farmer here in Vidarbha? Uh, it was great. I, I, I just spent one day with them and um, they were very camera shy. So we spent a lot of time just, you know, just drinking some chai and getting used to the camera and things like that. Uh, and yeah, it was, it was a good experience. They were really accommodating and, you know, happy also to, to be in front of the camera, but nervous as well. <laughs> Okay, uh, happy so what's uh, in your life which makes you more happy? In my life? Yeah. The little steps, the little details. Yeah. Uh, how organic you are? Uh, I would say probably 50% organic. I still have a lot of products in my house which are not organic. But I'm getting more and more uh, educated on organic products. Uh, what do you prefer more uh, while buying, while shopping? Or T-shirt or shirt, anything? Which is more you prefer? I mean, I love these, I love clothes which are comfortable like this. Um, but it really depends, yeah. I have, I'm an actor, I'm an artist, I 
keep changing my costumes, my my looks. So I love I love everything. <laughs> okay, it, it has your tagline: buy more and save more. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, uh, what do you do in your in your life? Like, uh, uh, you buy more, or you save more. I buy when I need. I think there's a lovely quote uh, which says, uh, "Love people, use things, not the other way around." Okay. Uh, any next project? Uh, I have a f have a web series called Made in Heaven, which is directed by Zoya Akhtar. It's all about rich uh, Delhi weddings going wrong. Okay. Thank yeah. You. Thank you.